What is up? I'm Moana Turtle, and today we have another Pokemon opening. Today we're going to be opening a Rebel Clash booster box. I was originally planning on live streaming this opening, but something has come up, so I won't be able to, to do the stream, so we're just going to post this video. Uh, a couple quick announcements. As you can see, we got some more Hidden Fates, uh, and uh, so we're going to be doing some more Hidden Fates openings in the near future. We picked all these up from Game Nerds at a nice price, about $15.00. Per tin and if you did miss out on the sale I stress this a lot you know make sure you follow the Pokemon TCG deal subreddit or join the discord and just monitor that deals channel uh, this was probably like the most the cheapest that you be able to find it in the near future you know it doesn't compete with the Black Friday deal but stay tuned for more hidden fates we're gonna clear this box to get open to this booster box and uh oh just quick announcement we did start a patreon page a couple people have been asking me about that and we'll get into the details as we get into this box so let's do it all right let's get into this box uh so this might be our last booster box that we're going to open on the channel and i took a look at our all the stuff we've opened so far and i have to say i'm a little disappointed for some reason i was under the impression that we pulled two bosses orders and my goal for this box was like all right can we get to our playset? can we find two of them but then when i was looking through the cards it's like oh we only pulled one it was a reverse which is cool but man that is disappointing uh we're super far away from getting our playset. So we have a lot of ground to cover on the bosses order side. That's going to be our primary goal. And as far as secret rares go, so we've opened three boxes, I think. And we've gotten basically averaged one secret per box. Where we had one box, our first box was zero secret rares. And then we had one with a single secret rare. And then lastly, we did finally get one with two. So hopefully we don't circle back to the first one. Uh, ideally, we obviously we stay at that two secret rare slot or spot. Uh, so let's get into our first pack. We're going through just the uncommons and then the rare slot or in reverse, of course, as well. Barboach reverse and our first pack is a Greedent. All right, nothing too exciting there. But yeah, hope everyone's having a good day. And um, yeah, hope everyone's having, gonna have, uh, We'll have a good weekend. Hope everyone's able to stay safe, stay healthy. Uh, it does seem like things are starting to open up, but no matter what, just be careful. All right, let's see. Ooh, another capacious bucket. A pretty, or actually not a bad uncommon. Ooh, that's, this might be my favorite one. Ah, maybe speed energy, then horror energy. Palpitoad, a Metapod reverse. And can we get a first boss order? Rillaboom V Max, I think. All right, if we were to play Rillaboom, I'm not sure if we want two or three V maxes, and I believe this is our third, so I kind of hope this is our last one. We're good on Rillaboom V Max, but we will take that for sure. All right, just had to run and get some sleeves. Sure, put this in a sleeve. And all right, let's continue. But yeah, so a couple announcements. We did start a Patreon account if you do want to support the channel. I mean, obviously there's tons of ways to support the channel. The simplest one is just being a subscriber on YouTube. So if you're not already subbed, just hit that sub button and give this video a like. Uh, it does help, you know, the, the videos kind of get around more. But yeah, if you do want to participate in the Patreon, I'll put a link in the description for now going on for videos going forward. And there are diff some different tiers, you know, I think like the lowest tier is just for a couple of dollars a month and we'll put you in like the credits and there's some different levels after that. Um, don't want to go too far into it. If you're curious about the details, just check out the link. link. And uh, yeah, thank you for all the different various ways that people do support the channel. Scoop up net reverse, very nice. I really underestimated this card. The amount of shenanigans you can pull with Jirachi or Zigzagoon are just impressive. Uh, I won't get into expanded. That thing needs to be banned and expanded. And all right, we did get one hit, but uh, as far as beat maxes go, we're really severely lacking on the Dragapult side, and we're good on the Rillaboom. Although Rillaboom is a fun list to play. As far as our non top tier decks that we play online, I think the my favorite would have to be still Meowth V Max, but then the second would be a Rillaboom. All right, looking for our second hit. But yeah, I do want to make this thing a ongoing thing where we do hopefully K 
can get a consistent uh, live stream on Fridays where we do some kind of live opening. Unfortunately, it didn't work out this week, but uh, yeah, hope that becomes a regular thing. Got a Pelipper, Bronzong, Erokuda, and then a Melodic V. I think we're probably about good on Melodic as well, but we will take that. I think as far as regular V, what we probably want are just Dragapults. That is another really fun deck to play. Although the how to spread the damage is super confusing. And luckily chat usually uh, helps me out when I misplay, although if they can catch it in time. But yeah, sometimes I struggle to figure out what the optimal play is. Zamazenta, not the, this obviously isn't the V because it's not in this set, but Zamazenta V is starting to see some play. Shoutouts to Get Wrecked. We play him all the time on PPCGO. And he's starting to run that one of those. I think it's just a 1x. And it seems to do pretty well in the Dragapult matchup. And if anyone is participating in Limitless this weekend, let me know in a comment down below. Especially let me know how you do. I'm super curious. And if you're a part of the Discord, definitely let us know through there. Good luck to everybody. And ooh, Sandaconda V. This card is not that exciting not gonna lie i feel like this is the it reminds me of delmize and it, i think 220 i think that was the same exact tack similar energy costs different i think they had a different condition uh but it was just like all right that does some damage i don't think it's that impressive we'll take the sandaconda kind of cool looking pokemon i suppose all right three hits they're all just okay nothing too crazy yet Alright, come on. It's that. It's just the. When we get just foils, that's where we need to really capitalize. Get those bosses' orders. We, we need our playset. Uh, I'm pretty sure you can get by with three for most times, but I just want four so I don't have to worry about it in case we change our mind. Garboder could be cool with Toxtricity. But yeah, uh, um, going back to Hidden Fates. So. Obviously, we did get a restock, so expect some more openings then of, of that in the near future. And once again, thank you all for helping us get to 1,000 subs. We're going to do some kind of celebration uh, soon. I do have to kind of like still plan it. I want to do a Q&A, so if you do want to like DM me through Discord or Instagram, any questions that you do have, and I'll go through not all questions. Obviously, there will be some topics that I don't really want to discuss uh, publicly, but if you do have any questions, definitely just ask them through whatever means possible or works best for you. Uh, Turf Field, I do like that card. Alucha Scyther. Whoa! I think I just threw a Ultra Rare. <laughs> oh my gosh, of course it's another Rillaboom. Are you kidding? I and we even bought some of those like tins, so we have we have too many Rillaboom. I'm not sure how many Dragapults we have. It's definitely not enough, but we keep pulling Rillaboom. I suppose this is kind of what I asked for. I was very upfront of, you know, what deck do you want to play when Rebel Clash comes out? And I was like, Rillaboom, Rillaboom's gonna be fun. So much it has potential. But we're good. <laughs> we don't need any more. There's some other cards to pull as well. And uh, actually, I will mention one thing about the Patreon. So one of the tiers will be for, I uh, think of kind of like a Darium's kind of thing, where if you want, you can purchase some product from me if you are part of that tier, and I'll sell it to you at cost. And kind of like that Patreon fee will go towards shipping you the, uh, we won't be able to ship all the cards. It'll be kind of like the, you know, we won't send the comments on comments. Just hit send all the good hits and stuff, and uh, we'll send that to you through the USPS. So I'll cover shipping for everyone in the US. If you are international, we'll have to work something out. But uh, yeah, I just want to mention that, and that will include those hidden fakes tins for the month of June. So if you think you're interested in that, you know, if you missed that opportunity to pick those up for cheap, check out the Patreon. And of course, that is a way to support the channel as well. All right. So far, not the best. We've got a lot of Milo's. Age of Slash. All right, almost done with halfway through. Almost halfway through this box. 
I think we do have one more Rebel Clash booster box, but yeah, I was hoping to keep that sealed for a rainy day, but given the amount of bosses orders we don't have, and the amount of Rillabooms, just Rillabooms that we do have, it's possible we'll have to crack another one. We did get Speed Energy, very nice, very good card, then a Ultrame. I will say, I do prefer doing live openings, it was actually a lot of fun. Booster boxes, you know, it's not the quickest thing, we're skipping all the commons. So, sometimes it's hard to just kind of, you know, vamp for, what, 20 minutes, 20 minutes straight. And definitely enjoy chatting with you guys more. Kramerant and Olympic. Alright, about halfway through, we'll clean up some more piles, make some more room. So, two packs left for the first half of the box. Alright, Palo Sand, Training Core, interesting card, we'll put this off to the side. And then Galarian, Mr. Mime, a Dragapult, this Dragapult's interesting, haven't really faced it, stage 2 sounds like a lot of work, but it's, that's kind of like when they use like Baby for the non-V, non-GX, like the Teflon or whatever. Baby Dragapult sounds so appropriate, it has a bit, like the attack is very similar. The ability is really nice as well. What's going on here? Lampant. Medicham. Beware. Surfetched. This is an interesting card. Never seen this yet. But if there's like a deck that's rampant, let's say Picaron maybe. Let's say Picaron wins Limitless. I wonder if there's some kind of Galarian way. Galarian Surfetched deck would just absolutely destroy that list. Pheasant. All right, uh, let me clean up real quick. All right, we're back. Let's keep going. Still no bosses orders. That really justifies the what I thought was insanely high price on TCG player. And this is when there are no events going on. It's like $16. That is so expensive. Beware, Tranquil, Barbacol, come on. Where is the boss's orders? And as far as hits go, we did get four on the first half. No secret rares. Hopefully we can double double the amount of hits in the second half and find one or hopefully two secrets. If we start with a zero one again, it'll be super disappointing to buy a handful of boxes and get two boxes without secret rare. But you know what guys, if that happens, and uh, if you're lucky enough to get find a double secret rare box, just think to yourself, oh, you know what, I gotta thank Turtle for that one. <laughs> Took the bullet for the team and got that dud box. But that's only if that happens. It already happened once. Hopefully we can avoid it today. All right, heat more. More Peko. Scoop up net, nice. Electivire and an Iskew V. All right, I suppose we'll take it, but yeah, V, we want Dragapult. V Max, we want Dragapult. Secret Rare, Boss's Orders. Rare, Boss's Orders. Reverse, Boss's Orders. If I keep asking for it, it should happen eventually, right? Scoop up Nets. Electrode, Stuffle, and Electivire. But yeah, as far as that, um, that share on Patreon, we'll probably have different kind of things on the various months. Uh, sometimes, maybe it'll be some kind of pre-con, you know, those insane league decks. You know, maybe we'll even do something like that. Definitely think that product is worth a unboxing video. Obviously, it's pre-con, but just to emphasize, you know, look guys, if you guys see this in the store, especially the peek around one, it's a really good product, especially if you can get it for MSRP. If there's any kind of sale, you know, Target runs their promotions every once in a while. Same thing for GameStop. Definitely worth a pickup. All right, I'm getting nervous about this box. Things have, the uncommon slides have been good, but that's about it. Snover, this art looks familiar. Greedent, our second Greedent. All right, no more Rillabooms. Thank you, we're good. I'm not even sure how many like, Sindre stuff are we... I 
not sure we pulled all the Intellions either. It's just been Rillaboom. Twin Energy. Phalanx, I kind of like that. Masquerain. Galarmine Reverse, nice. Then a Col Colossal. Cool card. I saw someone try this with this, and it's an interesting idea. Again, I think certain matchups, any kind of electric matchup where you're just one-shotting tag teams, that could be worthwhile. But in general, I think it's a little bit too much work on all fronts. Tranquil, Electabuzz, and then a Dubwool. This might be my first Dubwool. Uh, Beast Blast, 120, 30 more damage for each prize card your opponent has taken. Hmm, obviously you can't use Triple Acceleration or anything like that. You could run this in a Welder list too. And I'm not really sure that's worth it. Alright, so we got six hits. Only one of them is a full art or better. So yeah, still <laughs> getting nervous. To, to get a dud box really, uh, really doesn't feel good. And then to get two of them. Ooh. And, uh, oh, what? We got Dan. <laughs> what a funny card. Oh, I think uh, people on Discord were saying card's gonna sell for crazy amounts. Maybe we should get it graded. But as far as, like, oh, why do we enjoy Hidden Fate so much? Man, when. The some of the hit counts we get for Hidden Fates compared to this, there's just no comparison. A Gyarados, always discarding them stadiums in play. Okay, come on. This is a very, very bad booster box so far. Hopefully just because we started on the slow side, and hopefully there's some secrets on this side. We got, ooh, Capture Energy, very cool card, Lumbre. Why do I keep pulling this card? Oh, this one looks cool. I like the outline. Like the the very light colored outline. Looks nice. Really enjoy playing the deck. But we don't need any more Rillabooms. In this box alone, it seems that we just got a very Rillaboom heavy booster boxes. We got a V Max and two V's in the same box. And I think that happened multiple times. Is, is anyone else just pulling Rillabooms? I feel like a lot of box openings I watch, I feel like I see a lot of Syndrace. And all I get... <laughs> oh, I mean, again, that's kind of what we asked for in the very beginning. Sigalyph, haven't seen this used, but it's a very interesting card. Alright. We need to really clutch up, get a really nice secret rare. Please find a boss's order. The amount, the fact that we only found one boss so far is crazy. Wingle. Electivire. Hmm, I wonder if... I'm not really sure if Pokemon has short prints. It definitely is a thing in Yu-Gi-Oh! But I wonder if this is just a short printed card. So if you do have boss's orders, guys, they are really pricey. And again, there's not even events going on right now. That would just be people picking up their copies ahead of time. But the prices are just so high. Magmortar, really like that art. This, this would make a awesome full art card. I wish it was a little bit stronger, but... Oh, and one thing I want to address or talk about, I haven't talked about this yet, I don't think. I talked about it during stream for sure, is the new idea of Secret rares for cards that are not V. So like Frost Moth in this set, Real Boom for the upcoming set. I love that idea. Not sure how I feel about them coming in a later set. In fact, I really don't like that idea. But I like the fact that they are getting secret rares. Twin Energy, reverse, that's kind of cool. Galarian Kosola, another card that is very interesting. You know, some people said, oh, you just run that with more Peko. Sounds interesting, but with boss's orders, maybe that's not strong enough. Uh, the ability to just pick off the more Pekos might be a little bit too easy. If you think about like ADPZ, they only need to do that twice. Electrode, Tool Scrapper, 
Stone Journer and a Butterfree. Oh my gosh, guys. We only have two packs remaining. <sighs> hit number is not bad. Seven hits. But no secrets and only two packs left. Not feeling good. Alright, not to not to plan for failure, guys, but if if we whiff on the secret, just type F in the chat. <laughs> Your comment is just one letter F, hit enter. Also thumbs up, sub if you're not already. Stunky. Oh jeez, purple pass. Okay. Oh, what are the chances the secret is in the last pack? Don't do this to me again. I feel like sometimes we have better ETBs. Oh, shout out to the ETB winner, by the way. All right. Boss's orders, zero. Secrets, zero. Final pack opening. Pull our mine. Load tad. Oh my gosh, Frapple, Frapple. F in the comments, guys. When you, if you pull a, if you open up a awesome booster box, just remember, just thinking yourself, think in your head. Thanks, Turtle, for taking the hit for the team and uh, getting this booster box. That was a thrashing. But um, yeah, thanks as always for watching. Thanks for all the support on the channel. Stay tuned for a 1,000 sub celebration. Uh, if you do want to support the channel through Patreon, we'll put a link down below. That's all I got. I'm Wanda Turtle. Have a good weekend, everyone. Catch you guys next time. Peace.